Hi, my name is Kerwin Moffitt. And I'm in music production. Today I'll be interviewing Jerry and Jefferson. And he's a radio DJ and sound engineer for an AM radio station. What do you see as the role of visual arts in society today, particularly your profession? Well, my brother Spencer Moffitt, I feel that our industry is changing into a more visual field because you have podcasts which allow us as viewers and as, as actual participants in a podcast to not only hear but to see us doing a radio show. So I feel like visual arts is very integral into growing in our field because it's not just talking on the radio. It's not just voice. It's becoming gradually more visual because even in, in traditional radio, you have shows that are being recorded. Even shows that, for it's easy to look back on shows like Howard Stern or, or Don Imus, and you see it's an actual TV show, but it's also a radio show. It's like a radio show that's been recorded for television. So I think radio is kind of moving in that direction as to where it's, it's kind of like a multimedia establishment is becoming a multimedia business is what I mean. New communications and media technologies make it make imagery almost instantly available. Do you believe that this is having a positive or negative influence in your field? Well, I feel like with any technology, be it social media, be it with the way cell phones are as far as you can record something and then post it online. I feel like it's a good and a bad thing. In our industry, I feel like it's very much a good thing, although it could be used for negative purposes. And I feel like the best example of that is the simple fact that you can record a podcast today and you can, you can, uh, you can record it today and then you can post it on a website the very, you know, within minutes. So I feel like that's a good thing because it gives our listeners instant access instant access to to our product, you know, whether that's a talk show, whether that's a, a sports program, whatever it may be, it gives them instant access. You don't have to wait, you know, a week to, uh, to hear it. Uh, I kind of went off on a rant. That's <laughs> okay, man. Uh, what popular images do you see that are frequently repeated throughout your industry? Well, in my... In my station, WSJS Radio, the easiest example of that, of a repeated image, is our advertising. We have billboards throughout the city. You can see them off the highway or even just driving along the road in the city. Uh, and also at baseball games, we have a minor league baseball team called the Dash. And if you go to any of their games, you see our advertisements of our logos up throughout the, around the stadium, um, along with other uh, companies and businesses. So I feel like, for me, um, that's the the most re repetitive visual in radio in my field. Okay. Who is one of your favorite visual artists? What is your favorite visual style of visual art? Well, my favorite visual artists are Words for Halo and Julie Bell. They are a married, artist, a married couple. They're both artists. And they... They draw, well, they paint and draw, but they mainly paint art depicting the human body in a, in a uh, kind of like a fantasy form. They they're, they would be under, under the genre of fantasy. And they they kind of draw, if you've, if you've seen a movie like Conan the Barbarian, they kind of draw images in, in that style. And, you know, just a, a warrior male with a big broad sword you know, no shirt or a woman, um, and kind of in the same, in the same get up, you know, a woman, you know, with a, a loincloth on and, you know, her, you know, uh, top covered up. And I just like how they depict the male form, like in, in, in a, uh, it's idealized, you know, like the man is, you know, muscular and no, you know, nobody fat. And the woman, it's the same thing. She's curvaceous, you know, very attractive. And it's just like, I guess it's something that's very um, appealing to a man's eye. So I like, th those are the artists who inspire me. And that's who I like to look at 
when I uh, do paintings and art. How has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your, influence your creative process? Well, I feel like when I when I watch when I, when I view artwork from the Halo and Bell, it just inspires me to be creative in my own field. I mean, even though the two might not be directly related, radio and and painting or drawing, I feel like you just the energy that you, that you get, the inspiration that you get from viewing something at a high level. I feel like that inspires me to excel in my career field, which is radio. It, 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 it inspires me to to just constantly improve, and it inspires me to, to just reach excellence in my field. And that's something that, that it, it just keeps me motivated, keeps me interested, and it's something that I hope to to continue to receive inspiration from. Thank you uh, for answering my questions today. This was... Jerry and Jefferson, and I'm Kerwin Moffitt. Thank you all.